So it's time now for our Sikh Reflections, featuring this week Britain's first Sikh female MP. Labour's Preet Gill shares views about her faith during lockdown and how this period puts into sharp focus her wish to help people in difficulty. <laughs> Hello, I'm Preet Kaur Gill, the Member of Parliament for Birmingham Edgbaston, Labour's Shadow International Development Secretary and the UK's first Sikh woman MP. Welcome to my Sikh Reflection. The music I have selected is a prayer by the fifth Guru, Sri Guru Arjan Dev Ji, sung by Giratan. It is part of the Sikh evening prayer called Reras. As the world faces a global pandemic, this prayer is a victory prayer, which allows us to be guided by God's graceful and merciful hand in protecting us all. I have always been a firm believer in the role that faith can play in giving strength at times of weakness, hope in times of despair, and a clear path when we feel lost. We can draw inspiration from faith in a time of crisis, like the global coronavirus pandemic we are currently faced with, which compels us to keep going. It was this strong sense of faith which influenced my decision to go into public service, first as a social worker, then a counsellor before becoming an MP. In each of these roles, you share in the crisis and extreme difficulties that people face on a daily basis. It can be emotionally draining and faith here too provides a support mechanism and an outlet to enable you to carry on when times are tough. Growing up, my father showed me how you can put your faith into practice. He taught me the importance of giving back to your community. He loved his community deeply and spent his life helping others, commanding great respect. He taught me to pray from a very young age and I spent many of my early years at the Gudwara where my father was president. Seeing him be a champion for his community shaped my outlook and was instrumental in the life choices I made. For me, there was no doubt in my mind that I would follow in his footsteps. My experience and my faith showed me that this learning starts from within your household. And as the mother to two young girls, I'm aware of the importance of being a positive role model to them. Not simply telling them how they can affect change for the better, but by leading by example. The sheer scale of the loss of life that we have witnessed around the world in recent months puts into perspective what's most important in life and makes you grateful each and every day for what you have and hold dear, family, friends, community. Losing a loved one is always a painful experience, but like so many others who have lost a loved one while the country has been in lockdown, being denied the opportunity to properly say your goodbyes and grieve with family and friends makes an already difficult time all the more devastating. Lockdown has meant that many of us have missed out on the opportunity to come together to grieve, to remember and to celebrate. Places of worship have always played a central role in times of difficulty for my community. Is it any wonder then that them being closed has meant that people have felt like they've had to put their grief on hold. 
I welcome the news that places of worship could reopen, that communities of all faiths will once again have access to special places where they can spend a moment in quiet reflection or a place to recite a prayer, which will be a source of great comfort to so many. On visiting my local Gurdwara, I held my own personal prayer. This prayer was a profoundly powerful and emotional experience for me, an experience unlike any other that I had felt before. I had been holding on to so much for so long that it felt like a weight had been lifted and provided me with a clarity of vision that had been lacking since lockdown began. My prayer gave thanks to God and allowed me to express my deep and sincere gratitude for all that we have, but also remembering all those that we have lost. Crisis can also bring into focus the universal truth that we are stronger together than we are apart. I've been touched by the coming together of communities across the country during this pandemic. Global communities too must come together. Sadly, we've seen the gradual erosion of global solidarity over recent years and a move towards populism and the inward looking focus which follows. In an era of division and individuality, standing together, shoulder to shoulder in solidarity has never been more important. Sikhism teaches us the importance of selfless service and we have all been touched by the many examples of selfless sacrifices made throughout this crisis. From those on the front line risking their lives to protect people and keep our country going, to Gurdwaras giving up their time to serve longer to those most in need in our communities. This is what it means to be Sikh. This is the Sikh way of life. A way of life that we would all do well to carry over into a post-Covid world. This crisis has forced us to adapt and change in many different ways and it is worth us reflecting on the positive changes we want to keep both personally and at a societal level as we looked to our new normal post-Covid. Coming out of this crisis, we must ask ourselves what changes we want to hold on to and embrace. Should we go back to business as usual? What can we do better? We are presented with an unparalleled opportunity to change our lives and society for the better. We must use this time wisely and embrace the opportunity of a new beginning, the opportunity for the betterment of all mankind. Nanak Nam, Jardi Kala, Tere Pane, Sarbatta Pala. This Sikh prayer translates to well-being for all mankind, well-being for the world. Sikhism talks about the betterment of all mankind. This is what drives my work. It's about helping everyone, regardless of who they are or what their background is. Vaiguchi ka khalsa, vaiguchi ki fateh.